Hi everyone and welcome to this week's project. This week's project is a 3 by 9 figured maple bowl. And I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently today, as you'll see in a few minutes. Starting with finding center and drilling for the woodworm screw. And getting it on the lathe. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, it snowed here recently uh, in, in Maine. Let me know if it snowed where you are. Or send some sunshine this way, please. So as usual, just truing it up here with the bowl gouge. It's around 700 RPMs at, at this time. And the reason I put the tool up on the top is to see how much it bounces so I know if it's trued up. Now starting to work on the bottom and sides a little bit. Also still just truing it up here. So starting to define the, the mortise and the foot here and making the recess for the mortise. Use the skew chisel and the bolt gouge for this. Thank you everyone for watching the last video and uh, entering the contest and congrats to the winner. The winner will be enjoying some Axe Abrasive Paste. So I have it flipped around here and starting the hollowing process. If anyone who's watching is a wood turner and you know you turn bowls like this, uh, personally, I like to take my time with the inside and um, this video is sped up so it doesn't look like I'm taking my time, but to get nice clean cuts and to, uh, it's just relaxing to me, I guess, is what, I, what my point is. Reminds me of spinning pottery, even though I've never made pot pottery. I assume this is what it's like a little bit. So uh, feeling the bowl there a second ago to determine uh, the thickness of the bowl. Obviously it's still too thick but it's trying to figure out how much more um, hollowing I need to do. And I got smart there a second ago and changed out the tool rest. And this cut here that I'm doing is where I know a lot of people tend to get um, catches is, you know, turning that corner to make the, the corner of the bowl. And you see I'm doing it in two separate passes here most of the time. That one was one pass, but um, this is a high area for catches. Um, I've had plenty there myself in the past. and using the calipers to measure the thickness instead of just using my hands. Have the skew chisel here to smooth out the bottom. And have a pretty good finish. And this is Mr. Skull. Mr. Skull is going to be inlaid into the middle of the bowl and you'll see how if you keep watching. So it's a clear resin skull and there's going to be a circle um, turned and the skull is going to go inside that with some color uh, in the circle but not in the skull. Sort of like an emerging man or an emerging 
Skull. I'll have to think of a better name for it. Let me know what you think it should be called. The Emerging... The Emerging Man. Twenty twenty emerging. So cleaning up the area of where the skull will be in inlaid. Using some CA glue to adhere it to the bottom of the bowl. Starbond medium and some accelerator. And now using some ice resin material to inlay in the circle around the skull. And I'm going to be covering the ice resin with epoxy. Total boat epoxy. It looks a mess now, but it will it will make sense in a minute. Putting some tape around the edge of the circle to try not to get epoxy where I don't need it to go. So I mixed up some uh, Total Boat Slow Hardener and I'm pouring it, pouring it in here. And after that dried, I'm going to be sanding it. It didn't come out quite as clean as I wanted it to, so obviously I didn't show you all the sanding there, but I did. Uh, sand sort of the, the overflow. Uh, this is some uh, uh, sanding sealer and letting that dry and then denibbing it here with a steel wool like pad. And now on to the axe abrasive paste and then the polishing paste. If you haven't tried axe, uh, and you are a woodworker or wood turner, I do highly recommend it. There's a coupon code, uh, which is PF10. It's listed in the video description. If you'd like to try it, you can get 10% off your order. Made in the USA. Ships out from Pennsylvania, USA. The Axe Polishing Paste brings a good shine or sheen to it. Back with some epoxy. This is, I'm just putting it on with a paintbrush um, to bring the shine back to it as much as possible. It's really hard to sand in those crevices. So, um, again, this is Total Boat and Just filling up that circle, trying to make it more look like an emerging skull. So photos are up next. If you haven't subscribed, please take a moment and subscribe. There's a link in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And here's some photos. Let me know what you think in the comments. This one's a little bit different, ad admittedly, but I had fun doing it, so I'm happy with it. So until next week, thanks for watching and peace out.